What's up, Kim Heist? Welcome to another criminology educational video. So for today, we will be discussing Introduction to Criminology. By the way, my name is Professor Sean Francis Sandiego, also known as The Professor. Before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to The Professor, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. So for today, I will be giving you the overview of criminology as a program and also as a course. So, Bachelor of Science in Criminology is a four-year degree program envisioned for individuals who wish to have a career in the fields of the following. So, pagka daw ang mga estudyante ng criminology or ang mga batang nag-take ng uh, four-year degree pro program ng criminology is maaaring mapunta sa mga fields na ito. So, first would be law enforcement. Second would be security administration. Third is crime detection. Fourth is correctional administration. And the last one would be forensic science. So, isa-isahin natin sila. So, first would be law enforcement. So, yung mga graduates ng criminologies, uh, criminology rather, or mga criminologist, pwede silang mag-apply sa mga different law enforcement agencies na meron tayo dito sa Philippines. To name a few, nandito ang Philippine National Police, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, um, the uh, PIDEA or the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. So, yun yung mga law enforcement or local law enforcement agencies na meron dito sa Philippines. While for security administration, pwede rin ang mga criminologists sa private security uh, agency or sa field ng security. Third will be crime detection. Since uh, graduates of criminologists, merong units yan sa crime detection and investigation which is one of the area of BS criminology. So, maari rin tayong mag-investigate in um, Philippine National Police or any other government agencies as well as sa mga private detective agencies. Next is correctional administration. So, pwede rin tayo maging correctional officers or jail officers as well as probation officers. And the last one would be forensic science. Since we have an area in criminology which is criminalistics, wherein tinatakil natin dito yung ballistics, um, dactyloscopy, um, question document. So yun, pagka-graduate natin ng criminology and we, uh, after we pass the board exam, we can be a dactylog uh, dactylographer. Pwede rin tayong maging um, question document examiner, polygrapher. So yun yung mga, or polygraph examiner rather. So, yun yung mga pwede nating um, i-take or kuning karir after we graduate Bachelor of Science in Criminology. So, what is the nature of the field of the study of criminology or ano yung scope? So, the field of criminology is the study of crime and the various agencies of justice as they operate and react to crime, criminals, and victims. So, therefore, mission daw ng criminology program na makapag-provide sa community ng uh, competent, professionally competent, and morally upright criminology graduates. Paano natin malalaman na sila ay professionally competent or morally upright? Pag sila ay naging efficient and effective in these various fields. First is crime prevention. Second is crime detection and investigation. Third is law enforcement. Fourth is public safety. Fifth is custody and rehabilitation of offenders. And the last one would be criminological research. So, the reference of this nature of the field of study in criminology is according to or based on the CHED uh, Circular Memorandum Number no. 5, Series of 2018. So, next would be the must-have skills in criminology. So, ano ba ang mga dapat na meron ang isang bata bago siya mag-take ng Bachelor of Science in Criminology. So, of course, a criminology student shall manifest good organizational and time management skills by setting up priorities and schedules for his education, leisure, and breeder. So, ibig lang sabihin nito kailangan ang isang criminology student ay magaling maghati ng oras para sa kanyang pag-aaral, para sa kanyang kaligayahan or enjoyment, and para uh, magpahinga ang kanyang katawan. Para, of course, hindi siya ma-burn out due to workload and due to workload and also nawawala na siya ng time sa kanyang family or friends. Next, he or she shall also have to get along or he or she shall also get along and work well with his friends and blockmates by the conduct of group review. 
So, ibig sabihin, si criminology student, kailangan meron siyang good interpersonal skills. Because uh, graduates of criminology tend to go or uh, ang gusto nila or ipinaperso nila is maging government employee or maging um, isang law enforcers. And for you to be a law enforcer or a government employee, kailangan magaling kang makipag-communicate with other people and magaling kang makisama. So, a criminology student, kailangan meron niyang good interpersonal skill. Next, Likewise, he or she shall be good in communicating with other people, both written and orally, English and Filipino, for the purpose of school activities. So, si criminology student daw ay kailangan may magaling na communication skills. So, kailangan he, is, he or she is good in conversing both in English and Fili Filipino, and also magaling din siya mag-compose ng mga sentences or uh, ng letters in order uh, para siya makapag-communicate through written. So, or written communication. Lastly, students of criminology program shall be decisive in every situations in front of them. So, kailangan in every decisions or in every uh, situations makakapag-decide siya ng tama even if under pressure ito or uh, even if under time pressure. Next would be the Tri-Bureau the, of the Philippines or Tri-Bureau in the Philippines. So, the Tri-Bureau in the Philippines is composed of the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Philippine National Police, and the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. So first would be the Bureau of Fire Protection. So under the Section 54 of Public Act 6975, ito daw yung mga uh, duties and responsibilities ng Bureau of Fire Protection. So the Fire Bureau shall be responsible for the prevention and suppression of all destructive fires, on buildings, houses, and other structure, structures, forest, land transportation, vehicles, and equipment, ships or vessels, dock at piers or wharves or anchored in a major seaports, petroleum industry installations, plane crashes, and other similar incidents, as well as the enforcement of the fire code of, and other related laws. So, ibig sabihin ang trabaho ni Bureau of Fire Protection is to be responsible for the prevention and suppression of all destructive fires, as well as the enforcement or implementation of the Fire Code of the Philippines and other related laws, so katulad ng mga arson law. Also, trabaho rin ng Fire Bureau na mag-investigan ng lahat ng mga nangyaring sunog. So, kailangan alamin niya dito if the fire na nangyari is a natural cause or intentional cause. Siyempre, para malaman if talagang natural lang ba na nangyari yung apoy or intentional siya or uh, pwede siyang itag as arson or i-categorize as arson. Also, in time of national emergency, all elements of the Fire Bureau shall upon direction of the President and assist the AFP in meeting the national emergency. So, next would be the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. So, ano ba yung mga responsibilities, functions, or duties na meron si BJMP? So, under Section 61 of Republic Act 6975, the Jail Bureau shall exercise supervision and control over all city and municipal jails. So, kung makikita nyo dyan, ang trabaho lang or ang um, sakop lang or ang scope lang na meron si BJMP is city, municipal city and municipal jails. So, hindi kasama si Provincial Jail. Kasi si Provincial Jail po will be under the Provincial Government. So, ang trabaho ni BJMP is to supervise and control over all city and municipal jails only. Next would be the Philippine National Police. Ito yung pinaka-famous sa kanilang tatlo. So, ano bang mga trabaho ng Philippine National Police? So, under Section 24 of Republic Act 6975, the police shall have the power or responsibility to enforce all laws and ordinances relative to the protection of lives and properties. So as we all know, one of the major um, function or one of the major goal na meron ang PNP is to protect life and property. So isa yan talaga sa kanilang goal, protection of life and property and to maintain peace and order. So um, isa sa trabaho nila as per DILG Act, of 1990, uh, DILG Act of 1990 or RA 6975 is to enforce or magpatupad ng mga batas in connection to pro, uh, in connection to the protection of life and property ng mga tao sa kanilang area of responsibility. 
Second, maintain peace and order and, ta and take all necessary steps to ensure public safety. So, isa din sa trabaho ng mga PNP members is to maintain ng peace and order sa kanilang area of responsibility and as well as to take necessary steps or extra steps in order to ensure public safety. So, for example, sa isang lugar, may baliw na nagwawala and yung baliw is um, namamato na siya ng bato. So, um, nagbibigay na siya ng harm sa ibang tao. So, nabibreach na yung uh, peace and order na meron doon sa isang area na yon. So, what are the necessary steps na dapat gawin ni Philippine National Police or ng member or ng isang police to ensure public safety? So, ang dapat niyang gawin is to pacify or uh, uh, alamin yung sitwasyon and then right after is um, ika try to calm down yung uh, baliw and then right after kailangan niya manghingi din ng tulong sa mga specialist so to address the issue next investigate and prevent crimes effect the arrest of criminal offenders bring offenders to justice and assist in their prosecution so isa rin sa duty ng uh, police officers is to investigate and prevent crimes so very important yung crime prevention talaga and also, may power sila to arrest criminal offenders. Not just to arrest, but also to um, effect search and seizure or para gumawa, uh, magsagawa or to exercise search and seizures. Of course, uh, in accordance with the Constitution and pertinent laws. Next is to detain an arrested person for uh, the purpose of investigation. Um, issue licenses for the possession of firearms and explosives in accordance to the law. So, yung LTOP. So, uh, under yan na isa sa mga offices ng Philippine National Police. Also, may kapangyarihan din si PNP to supervise and control training and operations ng lahat ng security agencies and also to give license to operate dun sa mga security agencies na yon to those security guards and those private detectives for the practice of their professions. Perform such other duties and exercise all other functions as may be provided by law. So next, foundation of criminology. So what is criminology? So alamin muna natin yung etymology or let us trace first kung saan ang galing yung word na criminology. So, from the word criminology, it articulates that it is the study of crime. So, it describes criminology from the word itself pa lang, describe niya yung sarili niya as the study of crime. So, paano natin nasabi yan? Because in 1885, Rafael Garofalo coined the term criminologia. So, ano yung criminologia? I-dissect natin yung word na criminologia. So, criminologia, uh, nahahati yan sa dalawang word. So, first, uh, the first root word would be crimen which means crime, and then lohia, which means the study of. So, therefore, criminologia is the study of crime. While in 1887, the French anthropologist Paul Topinard used it for the first time in French and inalter niya lang yung last uh, letter. So, hindi criminologia but criminology. So, yon letter E, not letter A. But Edwin H. Sutherland and Donald Crisay define criminology as, so this is the most widely accepted definition ng criminology. So criminology is the body of knowledge regarding crime as a social phenomenon. It includes within its scopes the process of making of laws, breaking of laws, and the, re and the reaction towards the breaking of laws. So the objective of criminology is the development of a body of general and verified principles and other types of knowledge regarding this process of law, crime, and treatment. So paano natin maiintindihan itong definition na to? Sobrang haba. So yung definition na to, ihati, uh, kunin lang natin yung mga most important words. Ang sinasabi lang dito, the, ang scope daw ng uh, pag-aaral sa criminology is the process of making laws, pagbuo or pag-formulate ng batas, Pangalawa, breaking of laws or pag-commit or pag-violate ng, uh, ng mga batas or pag-pagawa uh, or pag-commit ng crime. And the last one would be the reaction towards the breaking of laws. What would be uh, the counter uh, action of the society against the breaking of law? So, yun yung uh, tatlong definition or tatlong words 
or phrases na maaari nating tanggalin sa definition ni Edwin Sutherland para mas lalo nating maintindihan. So what is the what are the divisions of criminology? So first is the sociology of law. It is the study of the origin and development of criminal or penal law and its effect to the society. So, maaari na natin i-correlate dito yung mga tinanggal natin sa definition ni Sutherland. So, dito sa sociology of law, pwede natin ikabit dito si making of laws. Because, it, anong pinag-aaralan na, uh, ng sociology of law? Yung origin and development ng criminal law or penal law na meron ang isang bansa at ang epekto nito or ang efficiency nito sa society. Next, criminal etiology. So, ang criminal etiology, pwede natin ikabit dito si breaking of laws. Why? But because it is the scientific analysis and study of the causes of crimes and development of criminals. Paano daw ba nagkakaroon ng krimen or paano daw ba nabibreak ang batas? At paano rin nagkakaroon ng criminal or paano nade-develop ang criminal behavior ng isang tao? And the last one, uh, the next one rather is penology. So, sa penology, pwede na natin dito isingit si Reaction towards the breaking of laws. Why? Because penology concerns with the control and prevention of crimes and the treatment of offenders. So from the definition pa lang, ito na yung reaction ni society against the breaking of laws, it, which is to control and prevent crimes or to control and prevent the breaking of laws and of course the treatment of the criminal or offender. So may bagong tagtag sa div division of criminology, si criminalistics. So, it concerns with the application of forensic sciences in the study of crime. So, ito yung i-correlate or i-integrate na natin dito yung mga forensic sciences such as forensic ballistics, um, forensic photography, question documents, and the like. So, forensic uh, medicine and toxicology, yun yung mga forensic sciences na in-integrate sa study ng criminology. Next would be the holy tree of criminology. So, sa tingin nyo, sino to? So, siya si Cesare Lombroso or Cesar Lombroso. He is known as the father of modern criminology. So, bakit siya tinawag na father of modern criminology? Kasi, inapply niya yung mga modern scientific methods to trace or to identify criminal behavior. So, however, itong mga scientific methods na inapply niya is most of his ideas are discredited. So, hindi na ginagamit. So, ano ba yung theory na na-develop niya? So, he developed the theory of atavism, wherein, according to his theory, criminals are usually in possession of huge jaws, strong canine teeth, the arm span of criminals is often greater than their height, just like that of apes who use their forearms to push themselves along the ground. So, ibig sabihin, itong, ang gusto lang sabihin dito ni Cesar Lombroso, ito yung may mga peculiarities sa physical features ng uh, isang tao, we can consider them as uh, criminal or merong criminal behavior. That's why it is discredited. Kasi parang uh, nagmumungkahi siya ng, o yung theory niya, nagmumungkahi ng discrimination. Kasi uh, just because of its physical appearance or physical features, maaari na natin siyang i-judge or i-categorize as uh, a person with criminal behavior, which is mali. So, ano pa yung mga other physical stigmata na sinabi dito ni Lombroso? Nandyan yung deviation in head size and shape, asymmetry of the face, yung hindi pagkapantay, excessive dimensions of the jaws and cheekbones, so yung masyadong mapanga, yung masyadong malalaki yung cheekbones, or ma masyadong nakaumbok, eye defects and fe peculiarities, sorry, peculiarities, and ears, of, uh, ears of unusual size, nose twisted, and fleshy lips. So, ito yung mga other physical stigmata na sinabi sa theory of atabism bukod sa mga sinabi ko kanina. So, next, sino naman kaya ito? So, si Enrico Ferry. So, Enrico Ferry focuses on his study in the influence of psychological factors and sociological factors such as economics on crimes. He believed that criminals could not be held morally responsible because they did not choose to commit crimes, but rather were driven to commit crimes by conditions in their lives. So, ibig sabihin, 
Uh, ginagawa daw ng mga tao yung uh, krimen or gumagawa daw ng krimen ng isang tao sapagkat hindi nila ito piniling gawin. Ito ay uh, tinulak sila ng kanilang kahirapan or tinu tinulak sila ng kanilang sitwasyon sa buhay. So, uh, a good example is yung taong nagnakaw, nagnakaw dahil uh, siya ay walang mapakain sa kanyang pamilya. So, he did not choose to commit crime because he just wants to. Uh, siya ay tinulak para gawin iyon, para magnakaw, para may mapakain sa kanyang pamilya because of the condition, uh, because of their livelihood condition. So, yun yung gustong sabihin ni Enrico Ferry. Next, sino kaya ito? So, siya si Rafaeli Garofalo. So, Rafaeli Garofalo treated the roots of the criminal behavior not to physical features but to their psychological equivalent which he referred to as moral anomalies. So, dinisregard niya yung uh, theory ni Cesar Lombroso about the physical features or yung theory of atavism. So, he also rejected the doctrine of free will. So, si Rafael Ligarofalo din ang provide ng classification of criminals. So, ito yung mga murderers, violent criminals, deficient criminals, and lascivious criminals. Next would be goals in the study of criminology. So the following are uh, the following are the objective in the study of criminology. First is to identify the different types of criminal behaviors. To recognize the various causes of crime. Ano daw yung mga dahilan kung bakit nakakaroon ng krimen sa uh, sa isang lugar, even if may batas na na pumipigil dito. To prevent the incident of crime. So, crime prevention. Next is scope in the study of criminology. So, first is a study of the origin and development of criminal or penal law, which I discussed already a while ago. Ito yung making of laws. Study of crime causation, ito yung breaking of laws or criminal etiology. Number one is yung sociology of law. Next is a study of factors that enhance the development of criminal behavior such as criminal demography, criminal epidemiology, criminal ecology, and victimology. So, isa-isahin natin sila. For criminal demography, pinag-aaralan nila dito yung relationship between criminality at yung population. So, we can assume kasi the higher the population, the higher the crime rate. So, yun. So, pag mas marami ang tao sa isang lugar at crow uh, crowded pa kayo, so, mas mataas ang chance na may maraming krimen na mangyayari dyan. Next is criminal epidemiology. The study of the relationship between environment and criminality. So, between uh, yung conditions of the environment in a certain place will uh, be a factor or will play as a factor in uh, the commission of crime. Next would be criminal ecology. So, it studies the criminality in relationship with the special distribution in a community. Next is victimology. The study of the role of the victim in the commission of crime. So, it is not just all about criminals. It's not just all about crime. It is not just all about laws. But criminology, nagpo-focus din yan sa mga victims. That's why... Uh, we have uh, a separate subject, which is yung victimology subject uh, sa criminology. Next is other disciplines involved in criminology. So, nandiyan si criminal anthropology, criminal psychology, criminal psychiatry, and cri si criminal demography is already discussed a while ago. A while ago. So, si criminal anthropology study of criminality in relation to the physical constitution of man. Kasi before, um, ginamit yan as uh, a means or ways of identifying a person. So, yan yung kay Bertillion system wherein sinusukat nila yung mga buto ng mga tao as a means of identification. Nung hindi pa sila gumagamit ng fingerprint. Second will be criminal psychology. What is uh, the behavior of a person or kung ano yung personality or attitude of a person towards the society in relation to criminality. Well, for criminal psychiatry, ito yung human mind, yung uh, uh, intelligent quotient or emotional quotient, uh, IQ and EQ mo. So, intelligence quotient and yung emotional quotient mo in relation to criminality. Next would be the nature of criminology. 
First is applied science. So as we all know, um, si criminology applied science siya kasi ang daming sciences na involve na uh, for application. Such as yung anthropology nga, psychology, sociology, and other natural sciences. Also gumagamit din tayo ng chemistry, medicine, forensic sciences, physics, mathematics that can be utilized in crime detection. That's why tinawag siya as an applied science. Pwede din siya maging social science. So why? Kasi ang objective or ang subject naman rather ng criminology is the society, people. So kaya siya pwedeng tawagin as a part of social science. It is dynamic because criminology changes as social condition changes. Why? Kasi um, ang subject naman ng criminology is the society. And therefore, ang society naman talaga is nagkakaroon niya ng changes. Therefore, si criminology nag adapt din yan. So, one good example is before, hindi naman pinag-aaralan ni criminology si uh, cybercrime. So, wala namang subject na cybercrime before. But dahil ngayon, nagkaroon ng technological advancement ang society at nagkaroon tayo ng cybercrime law and ang daming mga cybercrime issues, therefore, si criminology nag-adapt siya and ayun, uh, in-adapt niya yung uh, cybercrime and kalauna naging subject na din siya. Lastly is, it is nationalistic. So, the study of crime must always be in relation with the existing criminal law of the country. Next would be the must knows to the new criminology law in the Philippines. So, ano ba yung new law or new criminology law in the Philippines? So, ayan ang tinatawag nating Republic Act 11131, also known as the Philippine Criminology Profession Act of 2018. So, defining RA 11131 si criminology as the scientific study of crime, criminals, victims, and it also deals with prevention and solution of crimes. So, registered criminologists refer to a natural person who holds a valid certificate of registration and an updated professional identification card as criminologist issued by the board and the commission pursuant to this act. So, yun daw yung tinatawag na registered criminologist. So, according to Section 5 or uh, the scope of practice, a criminology graduate would most often look for jobs in the following Philippine government agencies. So, ano yung mga pwedeng pasukan ng mga registered criminologists according to Section 5? Nandiyan ang Philippine National Police, ang Bureau of Jail Management and Penology as a jail guard, or a jail officer, Bureau of Fire Protection as a fire officer, Armed Forces of the Philippines as a military of, uh, personnel. But if we talk about what Philippine government agencies, criminology graduates can also work for Parole and Probation Office as a Parole and Probation Officer, Bureau of Correction or BUCOR as a Correctional Officer, Commission on Human Rights, Bureau of, Bureau of Customs as Custom Police, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency as PIDEA Agents, National Bureau of Investigation or NBI, nandiyan din ang Department of Foreign Affairs or DFA as Document Examiners and Investigators, nandiyan din ang Department of Finance Investigation Division or DOF, Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP as Security and Investigation Department, Immigration and Deportation Bureau, National Penitentiary across country, like provincial jails under the provincial governments, Maritime Industry Authority or Marina as Investigators or Maritime Police, Land Transportation Office or LTO as Investigators and Field Inspectors or Officers, Department of Labor and Employment as Sheriff, Department of Environment and Natural Resources as Forest Officers or Guards, Philippine Coast Guards as uh, mga, Coast Guard, uh, mga Coast Guard. Next is Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA. Your career choices too are actually not limited to being a police officer. Here are the other positions your course is best suited for. So first, of course, professor, instructor, or teacher in criminology in any state university, college, or school duly recognized by the government. You can teach to the following subjects. Law enforcement administration, criminalistics, correctional administration, criminal sociology and allied subjects, and other technical and specialized subjects in criminology provided by the Commission on Higher Education. Number two, law enforcement administrator, executive advisor, consultant, or agent in any government agency. 
dactylographer, ballistician, question document examiner, law enforcement photographer, lie detection examiner, probation officer, security officer, criminal investigator, and police laboratory technician. As a correctional officer or administrator, executive supervisor, worker or officer in any correctional institution, counselor, expert, advisor, researcher in any government agencies of any aspects of criminal research or project involving the cause of crime, juvenile delinquency, treatment of offenders, police operations, law enforcement administration, scientific criminal investigation, or public welfare administration. Meanwhile, in the private sector, criminology graduates usually apply for the position in the security in industry, such as security officers, security guards, and private detectives or investigators. But in reality, you can also apply for the following positions. In-house small investigators, international airlines, ground officers and investigators, international airport security officers and plain clothes investigators, private commercial bank credit and loan investigators, general managers and directors of private security industry, security chiefs and supervisors in international, in the, uh, international industry, commercial airlines, ground investigators, forensic ballistic expert, asset protection associate, security manager, loss prevention supervisors, and inspectors. So thank you very much. So now that I've discussed to all of you the overview of the Bachelor of Science in Criminology, up to the career opportunities that you can achieve once you graduated and pass the board exam. So I will be waiting for your comment. So ano yung mga gusto ninyo after uh, watching this video? Ano yung gusto ninyong um, itake or um, itake after nyo gumraduate and you pass the board exam? Ano yung gusto ninyong um, pasukin na career opportunity doon sa aking mga nabanggit kanina? So thank you, thank you much. Um, hope you learned a lot of for today. So, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the professor and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my next upload. So, thank you very much. See you on my next one.